working on Benincourt. And Benincourt picks his pocket in the corner. So Benincourt will come back the other way. Once again, slowing things down, setting up the offense. Pressured by Yankeidis. They work it around the perimeter. And here is Ohms off the mark. A loose ball tapped around. Pangos quickly back the other way. Pangos weaving in and out of traffic. Nice spin by Mueller. And he banks it in for a deuce. And that is exactly what they'll need to get back into this game. Shots close to the bucket. 25-14 now the score in favor of the white team. As it looks like Dwayne Notice and Anthony Bennett will get ready to check back in in the next stoppage of play. Here's Canducey. Leaves it inside for Chisang. Back top for Ebro. He can't connect. Loose ball tapped around. Here's Morocco's. Morocco setting things up for the black team. Leaves it for Muller. Muller out of Germany. Plays for Alba Urspring. That is his club. Drops that awkward scoop shot and somehow he gets it to go. Well, they're getting closer to the bucket. They're not making it any easier for themselves, but Muller got a bank shot from the right side, an awkward scoop from the left, 25-16. Nice floater there by Ebro, can't finish. And the black team coming back the other way. White team is cooled off, but Maro loses it. Muller picks it up, gets it to Pangos, and Pangos luckily gets out of trouble to Morocco's. Morocco spins and fires, can't finish, grabs his own miss. Morocco's doing a nice job coming towards the loose ball. White team not boxing out. And we'll have a foul. It'll be a whistle on the floor. It's going to go against Benincourt. So the white team 0 for 3 from the field to start this quarter. And with 8.02 remaining, a timeout on the floor. 25 to 16 in favor of the black team. Coming up in May, the Empire All-Stars will be holding its 15th annual Northeast USA Hoops Festival for boys 11 under through 17 under. The event is at the University of Albany and Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute on May 1st and 2nd. For more information, head to empireallstars.com. That's empireallstars.com. Madison Square Garden, the site for the Jordan Brand Classic International Game. Glad you could join us. Lance Meadow on hand, 25-16 the score. White team in control. Herman Harried squad getting ready to get back to the court. So let's reset. It's Notice, Chisang, Bennett, Benincourt, and Ebro. Black team still talking things over with Miles Simon. And Miles Simon, the head coach of the black team, a former guard from the University of Arizona, Kevin Pangos, who had a chance to speak with from Canada earlier in the week, said he was really looking forward to working with Simon, given the fact that they are both backcourt players. And this is an opportunity for the international players not just to showcase their skills here at Madison Square Garden and make their names more prevalent to not just the world, but the United States, but also to really learn. Like I said, the Jordan Brand Classic through camps throughout the year stresses fundamentals, and this is sort of the way to celebrate those fundamentals by putting these talented players on the court. And also, they got to tour New York City throughout the course of this week. So it's a cultural experience as well. So it will be the black team's ball as we get a look at Miles Simon. And Kevin Pangos pass intercepted by Bennett. So here comes the white team. Black team on defense goes with Pangos, Maracos, Yankeidis, Muller, and Maro. Bennett up and under fake around Maracos. Count the bucket plus the foul. Nice move by the 6'7 forward out of Mount St. Academy in Virginia. So he goes to school here in the United States, but is representing Canada, plays for their national team. That is the second on Morocco's. And Bennett will now have a chance to complete the three-point play. And Bennett was on that Canadian cadet men's national team that earned a bronze medal at the FIBA America's Under-16 Championship last summer. So what that did was that automatically qualified Canada for a shot to compete in the Under-17 tournament, which will be taking place in Germany later this summer. And Notice, Pangos, and Bennett, who are all on the court right now, Pangos on the black team, Notice, and Bennett on the white team, are all hoping to be selected for that roster. Pangos already has made a name for himself across Canada. He's the youngest player to dress for the Canadian national team, thanks to Leo Rowden's the head coach, who originally had the record 
and he gave Pangos an opportunity. So here comes the white team with Benincourt doing a great job orchestrating the offense. 27-16, his squad on top. Hands off to Notice. Notice off the crossover, a pullback jumper, nothing but net. Dwayne Notice stroking it from 15 feet for another deuce, 29-16. As Pangos, his Canadian teammate, looking to return the favor. Here's Mauro, drop step in the lane, blocked by Ebro. Ebro had good position down low on the lane. The 6'1 guard from Italy plays for Verde Siena. And that is the best club in Italy. Muller drives down the lane, gets tied up with Chisang, and we're going to get a foul. So we'll have free throws coming. Foul is going to actually go against Notice. Chisang was fronting him. Notice came from behind. Swipe the ball away. And Muller connects. An interesting note about Muller is that when he came to the Jordan brand camps, he actually came in as a shooting guard, but since then has been converted to a point guard, although Pangos is pretty much playing point guard throughout the course of this game. But you'll see Mueller take over, and it gives him a lot of versatility to handle both guard positions. A very strong player, and we've seen him take it to the hoop on numerous occasions so far here. Second quarter, 6.46 remaining, and it is the white team leading the black team, 29-17. Benincourt hands off to Chisang, and he is fouled as he goes up. So more free throws coming, this time on the white team. As we'll have a substitution. Foul is going to go against Sanchez, but Jean Tupin will get ready to check in. Muller now with eight points. He's got five this quarter. Tupin now will be allowed to come in. He'll replace Mauro. And Chisang at the line now. So Chisang is actually teammates at INSEP with Mauro, who's on the black team. And they are the two the first two French players to participate in the Jordan Brand Classic. This international game has never had a French player over the first two years. And Jordan Brand Classic really look forward to building a relationship with INSEP to continue to have an opportunity to showcase those French players. It's Muller off the mark, Notice with the rebound, and here comes Notice on the run, down the lane, off balance, can't get it to go off glass. Loose ball tapped around, and there to follow it in is his fellow Canadian, Anthony Bennett. So those two have had plenty of time to get used to one another. Bennett's been compared to Josh Smith, and Dwayne Notice has been compared to Dwayne Wade. Here's Pangos, who he said is the next coming of Steve Nash. Jorge Sanchez down the lane. Gets his pass broken up. Here's Ebro, four on two. Leaves it for Benincourt, back to Notice. Draws the contact and gets the layup to go. Dwayne Notice in the open court. Spaced it out perfectly with Benincourt. And the white team walking away with this game. 34-17, Pangos looking to answer. Can't get it to go. And Ebro will clear it out. Benincourt feeds it to the cutting. Bennett went for the dunk, couldn't convert. Here's Mueller back the other way. Nice crossover dribble, splits two defenders and scoops it in for the deuce. 34-19, black team looking for an answer on the offensive end. But they need to come up with a stop. Can they slow down Benincourt and notice? The backcourt putting on a show. Here's Ebro in the lane. Kicks it out to Bennett. Bennett off the shimmy. Scooping layup, no good. And here comes Sanchez. 4.59 and counting second quarter. Pangos lost control of the ball. Feeds it down low to Yankiedis. And the turnaround bank shot off the mark. And it is recovered by the white team. So Bettencourt slowing things down. Here's Ebro. Ebro fakes coming around the screen, drives baseline, leaves it for Bettencourt, a good look from three. Are they gonna say he stepped out of play? And it will go back to the black team, but first with 4.31 remaining, timeout on the floor. It's the white team in front of the black team, 34 to 19, thanks to the play of Bettencourt and Notice.
to the stories of every night that they wanted. High School Basketball Network bringing you the Jordan Brand Classic International Game here at Madison Square Garden. Taking a look at the black team, talking things over with head coach Miles Simon. Want to remind you that this webcast is a presentation of HSB Network. It's the High School Basketball Network, which is a registered trademark of HSB Network Incorporated. Any attempt to reproduce or rebroadcast this presentation without the express written consent of HSB Network Incorporated is strictly prohibited. Catch you up with some of the latest statistics from this game. Mueller now with 10 points. He's the only player in double figures. He has gotten off to a strong start for the black team. But right now, they are looking for somebody to compliment Mueller as they have struggled to find rhythm on the perimeter. And the white team has really run away with things in transition and getting good looks underneath. Right now, they're sending out notice Chisang, Kanduzi, Ohms, and Grigonis. Black team goes with Sanchez, Maracos, Muller, Tupain, and Pangos. Tupain, the only player representing Senegal. He's out of Seeds Academy. Seeds Academy, the Sports for Education and Economic Development Academy. And Amadou Fall, the VP of International Affairs and Director of Scouting for the Dallas Mavericks, helped found that organization. It's produced a couple of NBA players as Sanchez puts in the jumper, including Sagana Jop. 34-21, white team in front. Four minutes in counting here in the second quarter. Here's Ohms working on the right wing. Leaves it for notice. Notice a tremendous athlete taking it to the hoop. Can't finish on the floater, follows his own miss and puts it back in. 36-21. Dwayne Notice very aggressive in the first half for the white team, a big reason why they are out in front by 15. Here's Mueller in the corner. Leaves it top of the key to Tupain. Nice shuffle pass over to Sanchez, but had it blocked as Canducey was in the vicinity. Notice 10 points, five rebounds for the white team in possession. And they have controlled the tempo of this game since the opening tip. Grigonis leaves it top of the key for Ohms. Ohms tightly guarded by Muller. Looking for an opening down on the baseline. Leaves it for Chisang with one on the shot clock. And they're going to get a traveling violation on Chisang. So another turnover results in the black team getting the possession back. Substitution for the white team. Ohms will take a seat. Back in for him is Ebro out of Italy. Pangos comes from a strong basketball pedigree in terms of his family as Mueller puts up the three and connects. Mueller catching fire for the black team. He now has 13, and it's 36 to 24 in favor, though, of the white team. As I mentioned, Pangos, his father coaches at York University, the women's basketball team in Canada. His mother played basketball, and his sister's an athlete as well. As we have a foul on Maragos on the black team, down low, was on the floor. Chisang takes a seat for the white team. Back in for him is Anthony Bennett. Substitution for the black team. De Silva in, Pangos takes a seat. So Grigonis will inbound, gets it to Ebro. White team has cooled off as of late. Here's Bennett, top of the key notice. Good look from downtown, way off the mark. And it will head back to the black team. An offensive foul they're going to get on Canducey. Was pushing off down low to grab the offensive rebound. Black team looking for a spark on the offensive end, trailing by 12, just under two and a half remaining second quarter. Here's Mueller, leaves it for Tupain. Maracos working on Canducey, spins, fires, can't convert, but draws the contact. So Maracos will have a chance to head to the free throw line. The 
Six, seven forward out of Greece. Morocco's actually playing with three fouls. And his club is Panatinikos out of Greece. Hits the first. And he actually participated in the Jordan Brand camp last year. He didn't make the cut for the game, but he came back and showed a lot of improvement. The uh, scouts and coaches were very impressed with his showing in Istanbul as he converts on the free throws. 36-26 to score. Black team trying to chip away at the deficit. Here's Ebro. Leaves it for Candusi. Short on the layup, grabs his own miss, and has it taken away by Dupain. Up ahead to De Silva, one-on-one -on, -one on Ebro. High floater, no good, but he was fouled. Benincourt's gonna come back in. He will replace Notice as De Silva gets set to go to the line. And De Silva knocks down the first. The only player representing Brazil in this game. First time most of these players really receiving national exposure. And many of them would like to play Division I college basketball and go on to the NBA. And after this, another big step in the Jordan Brand Classic for the international players is Benincourt handles in trouble. Gets a pass to Bennett. And Bennett's jumper in and out, rebounded by Tupain. Is an opportunity to play in the Hoop Summit out in Portland, Oregon, which is also an annual event that showcases the best 19-year-olds in America against the best international players. And Ennis Cantor, who starred in the first international game here at the Garden, has since, on, has since gone on to play in that contest. As Tupain has it for the black team. Short, they're in the right place at the right time is De Silva. And De Silva will now look to reset. Just over a minute remaining here, second quarter. 13 on the shot clock. Indecisive on what he wanted to do with it. Morocco's gets it back. And his pocket picked by Benincourt. Benincourt bursts ahead, will now slow things down, tried to get a no-look feed inside to Candusi, and it went wide of him out of play. Couple of substitutions for the white team. Grigonis will take a seat, along with Bennett. Back in is Chisang. He joins Benincourt, Candusi, Notice, and Ebro. De Silva, 45 seconds of counting in the first half. Muller down low to Maracos. Blocked by Candusi into the hands of Notice. Notice, it's a one on three break. Notice, off balance, can't connect on the bank shot. Rebounded by Tupain. Let's see if the black team can convert. Muller tries to leave it for De Silva. And the helter skelter play continues in the open court. Here's Ebro over to Benincourt. Benincourt slices his way through the defense, but can't finish. Execution, the big challenge is De Silva comes up short on his lay in attempt. And Notice will get a chance to get a breather as he was fouled by Maracos. And that is his fourth personal foul. And we have not even reached halftime. So Miles Simon, he only has eight players to work with. We'll see how he manages Maracos in the second half. Four seconds at counting, Ben in court. Working for the final shot on De Silva, and he won't even get it off. Final buzzer sounds, so that will do it. One half in the books. No baskets in the last minute of this contest. Nonetheless, white team still in command of the black team, 36 to 27. Here in the Jordan Brand Classic International Game, showcasing the top 15 and 16 year olds across the world. Kevin Pangos leading the black team out of Canada, setting up a lot of good plays for Malik Muller out of Germany. But the big storyline has been the white team. Dwayne Notice, Anthony Bennett putting on a show representing Canada, and Carmelo Benincourt running the stage out of Puerto Rico. The 5'11 guard, he's already been crowned the next Carlos Arroyo. Well, he certainly is looking to get to the NBA, making a good name for himself in the world's most famous arena. We will step aside once again at the half. 
36-27 to score. You're watching the Jordan Brand Classic International game right here on the High School Basketball Network. Back here at Madison Square Garden, getting ready for the second half of the Jordan Brandt Classic International game. Start of the third quarter. As the white team in front of the black team, 36 to 27. Black team inbounding with Mueller, Marlowe, Sanchez, Pangos, and Yankeidis. Marlowe with the basketball. Drives baseline. Tries to get it inside to Pangos. We could get a whistle underneath. Marlowe, one of the two players representing France in this game. The first two players in the history of this game to represent that country. As Pangos, out of Canada, gets the inbounds pass to Yankeidis. And his left-handed hook off the mark. Loose ball tapped around. He will follow and put it through for a deuce. 36 to 29 with nine and a half remaining here in the third quarter. Bettencourt, who put on a show in the first half. Bettencourt had seven points, two assists, and shot three of five from the field. Jumper below the free throw line, air ball. And the black team will come back the other way with Pangos running the charge. Pangos sets up Mueller. Mueller, good look from three and connects. Ring it up from downtown for Malik Mueller. Mueller led the way with 13 in the first half for the black team and picks up where he left off, 36-32. And a whistle away from the basketball. It's gonna go against Grigonis pushing off for leverage, so that will give it back to the black team as Kandusi heads to the bench and Ebro in for him. Marlowe taking over point guard duty, sets up Mueller. Mueller looking for that look from downtown. Pangos feeds. Yankeidis in the corner, and they will look to reset. And a timeout taken by Hermied Harried squad. At least initially, that was what the signal was for. No, they're gonna reverse that, not a timeout. Had a mix up with the possession arrow at the scorer's table. So they'll now reset. Black team in control. Trailing by four, 36 to 32. 842 remaining, and now they are going to award the white team a timeout. So the game of musical chairs going on at the scorer's table. They seem to have worked out the kinks. Black team back in the mix of this. Down by four, 36 32, 842 remaining. As you're watching the Jordan Brand Classic International game here on hsbnetwork.tv, we want to remind you that nychoops.net is the official licensed partner of the Rivals.com network and the online leader in New York Hoops recruiting news. Want to go inside, get exclusive coverage with nychoops.net and get continually updated rankings and tournament info, breaking news and exclusive video on NYC basketball prospects in New York, Long Island, Westchester, and upstate New York plus free access to over 200 Rivals.com sites. With nychoops.net, you can interact with experts and the smartest fans on our members-only message board. Now you can get a 30-day free trial with nychoops.net. Just go to nychoops.net and use the code NYCHOOPS. Third quarter of the Jordan Brand Classic International Game. Miles Simon talking things over with his team. The white team returning to the court. It's Bennett Court, Ebro, Grigonis, Notice, and Bennett. Taking to the court for the white team. Black team going with Yankaidis, Sanchez, Marlowe, Pangos, and Muller. Sanchez, the 6'6 forward out of Spain. Plays for Real Madrid. Here's Mueller on the left wing, back top to Pangos, straightaway look from downtown, in and out. Pangos has not been able to find the rhythm from the perimeter throughout this game, as his team trails by four with 
Just under eight and a half remaining. Ebro. And a whistle away from the ball, Bennett. And Yankaidis tied up low on the post. This one's gonna go against Yankaidis. So Ebro out of Italy. Tries to get it to notice, Bennett court will reset. Here's Grigonis 